Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you will not believe my luck this morning. It is a beautiful day here in Miami where I was driving down Biscayne Boulevard which comes past Prestige Imports and Lamborghini Miami when I stumbled upon this. And I well know exactly what is inside that crate being delivered here today is a new Lamborghini Sian. This is how they safely send the cars, the hypercars, from the factory in Santagata Bolognese in Italy over to the dealers around the world. And by complete luck, we're going to see this being unloaded, lifted off and unboxed for the first time. Let's check it out then here at Lamborghini Miami, the Lamborghini Sian. This is how they come then, in a made-to-measure wooden crate, which now needs to be lifted off. It's going to be forklifted off the back of the truck, so that then the sides of it can be unbolted and opened. And I witnessed a bit of this process. The Stradman has seen one, if not two, being delivered. But today, we're going to see it in person, by complete luck. I did not know this was happening. I drove past, and now, and now it's all about to go down. We currently have a flying Sian. The forklift is just behind, maneuvering it, but quite literally, in there, is a hypercar. This is absolutely mad. It's going to be placed down on the ground and then the unboxing begins. The moment of touchdown then, here at the dealership, we've got Brett David actually in the forklift at the moment, but touchdown on the ground, the Lamborghini Sian. This is crazy. There's a little bit of work now for the guys, unboxing it quite literally, taking out all the screws, the bolts, the catches and everything. I think the top comes off first, then the sides will be opened up. We're going to see this very shortly. This is actually pretty clever. They put the ramps on the top, which obviously will help to get the car out of it. So those are bolted up on the top, obviously need to be rotated around but then I guess it's gonna be coming out like this. The first half of the top is coming off, which means, can we have a sneaky look? Let's have a very sneaky look, it's under a cover. We're gonna see this in a second. And off comes the second half of the top. All of these metal clips then are holding the box together. Get rid of that for the time being. Loads and loads of those nearly all open though, ready to pull down the sides. It's the moment to remove the rear. And under the cover, we have a Lamborghini Sian, one of 63 in the world. The first side gets folded down. There is nothing quite like the theater of the delivery of a Lamborghini hypercar. The whole team has had a crash course today in woodshop work, but here we have it, ready for the cover to be taken off, I think, in a moment. The Lamborghini Sian right Woo! underneath this. We're gonna see this in a moment. Brett, what do, you, what do you think of this? This is incredible, isn't I mean, it? This is a completely different experience. There's been just a few Sian deliveries across the world, but this is a definite Lamborghini Miami experience. You're about to see some of the behind the scenes. Team Prestige is here to deliver a very, very, very unique touch. We're gonna give you a quick sneak peek and I am so happy you're here with us wow. to join. Wow, 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 well, we're gonna see it all in a moment. There's so much theater behind it. It's so Lamborghini, it's, it's so special. This is what it's about though. Something like this is a monumental moment. This is not something that deserves a very simple unboxing. This no. is about a true experience. Shmi, you're behind the scenes <laughs> with us. I'm excited, <laughs> feels like Christmas and it's not mine. Ooh, ooh, it's time for the reveal. Ooh. Look at this, Grigio Lynx with Verde Selvans for the accents. You can see the pinstripes around the side skirts, the brake calipers. Obviously, it's in PDI or pre-PDI at the moment. Transport mode, hence the lift system, the suspension is up. This is, that's beautiful, isn't it? Dude, I am like, I'm in shock, honestly. It's <laughs> only 63 examples of this in the world, and for you and I to be a part of this is just insane. It's so cool, it's so cool. Look at all these green details, the Lamborghini Sian. You've got the wing that rises up out of the back. You've got all of the crazy carbon fiber bodywork. Obviously 63 cars, part of their few off series. There'll be the Roadster as well. There'll be only be 19 of those. It's 818 horsepower in total. It has the hybrid system, the super capacitor. Just look around, let's look at the exhaust tailpipes at the back, look at that diffuser, look at how wide the rear tires are and how open they are, look at the design, a lot of the design of the Lamborghini hypercars gives us an insight into what's going to come in the future, you know, for example with this, with the replacement to the Aventador, but this really started with the Reventon, then with the Veneno, then with the Centenario, and now with this as well, just look at this car, the Grigio Lynx, this metallic dark grey paintwork, lime green, Verde Mantis, Verde, sorry, Verde Selvan's accents that you have throughout it. Freshly delivered here. Inside, if we can have a quick glimpse, obviously awaiting to have its PDI, but you've got the Verde Fawns accents, the stitching and the piping that you can see around. You've got the touchscreen in the center. Look at this, look at all the cool details. The Y-shapes, Benzina, Italian word for petrol, for gas out here on the fuel tank. 
around towards the back. I, I mean, I could spend forever looking at this. Such a special thing to have seen directly here as it was delivered and revealed a Lamborghini Sian. Look at all of the details here, those Y shapes for the headlights, all the exposed carbon, of course the whole bodywork is carbon fiber, super, super exclusive. But the more you look at a car like this, the more details you start to see. For example, the curtains here for the airflow that goes around the side of it. You've got that headlight eye sitting at the very top of the running lights, just aggressive shapes, obviously a short front end due to the car being the mid engine configuration, the 6.5 liter naturally aspirated V12. The engine makes 785 horsepower and then a little over 30 coming as well from the hybrid assistance which is actually connected to the seven speed automated manual gearbox that the car has of course all-wheel drive being the Lamborghini V12 platform but this is just mental to look at the wheel design is crazy as well when you look at that a little bit more closely obviously carbon ceramic brakes sitting behind but all these louvres and shapes and designs aggressive styling cues lots of cooling to the radiators that you have inside the vents along the sides there this is a really really special and spectacular thing to see let me show you a few details then of the interior open up the doors of course lamborghini doors you've got the cyan step plate and then look inside here obviously before the pdi but all of the green details even the flap over the starter button the inserts with the leather over on the opposite door card all carbon fiber this is really, really cool to see. Obviously, you've got the digital dashboard, the large carbon fiber shift paddles, green 12 o'clock stripe, the green stitching. So many nice details. Obviously, every one of these is unique. No two Sian's have the same specification. Also love the Tricolore, the Italian flag stripe, and that green pinstripe you have running down the center of the spine there over the engine bay as well. It's so, so nice. Let me close this back down. Oh, carbon fiber on that insert. Again, in that Y shape. You see those Y shapes everywhere around this car. Off goes the trailer which earlier had the crate on the back. I cannot believe still that it was seeing this pulling in with the crate on the back of it that made me say, I've got to stop here. I know what's inside that. I know there's about to be the delivery of a Lamborghini Sian. Well, all of that somehow managed to happen. Just crazy things here in Miami. What a day. Fairly obviously for this process, a lot of the cars from the Prestige Imports parking area had to be moved out of the way, but there are some very nice things that are all around us from the G-Wagons and Raptors, Teslas, Macans, R8 Spider, R8 Coupe, Acura NSX for me in the UK over in Europe, we call them the Honda NSXs. Here they're the Acuras. Then we've got the Corvette C8, the two cars with their removable target panels, M4 going by. We've got a McLaren 570S in Amethyst, I think Amethyst Black, that very dark purple 650S Spider and Volcano yellow we've got a rapid red g500 it sounds like i need to run because we're gonna have the start up of the cr and the guy's just calling me over so let's take a listen to this firing up oh yeah that sounds good that's louder than a stock event door that's for sure and you can see the illuminated tail lights the triple lights on each side obviously the first time it started since it was in the factory in italy that was boxed up and now it's been unloaded here ready to be taken off the ramps and then it'll be heading around for pdi to be prepared for the customer what an opportunity to see this thing obviously carefully does it using these ramps that were on the top of the crate to begin with look at that diffuser as it comes down the way it goes right underneath the back of the car underneath the wheels huge 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 engine back here this is cool and it's about to touch down on the tarmac at Lamborghini Miami here in Florida in the USA this is cool one of the earlier Sian's to be delivered I see lots of people making sure to get the shots Brett with the honors look at that just look at that SLS Roadster tucked behind as well this is mega this is so cool to see and I was just talking before it started up oops he says dances over the wood crate there about this rapid red Shelby GT500 non-track pack car with the black stripes as you guys know I love those let's come and see this just heading back on through all happening at once Do you know what I feel in a way like I've gone back to my uh, almost car spotting roots with this just private at the moment with people here from the dealership but the excitement of seeing us look at the illuminated y-shaped lights at the front the running lights it's such a special thing such a special thing it's heading straight into the workshop then of course to get the pdi done to go through everything to take it out of transport mode make sure it's all set up and ready to rock and roll but as that heads on inside and we're going to be saying farewell to it for the moment i want to come down because there is something else very cool to show you 
that has just turned up as well. Oh wow, <laughs> that sounded epic. There's a Pagani Huayra Roadster, which is also here. I saw the other day being delivered to a client. <laughs> Hypercar Central, one of a hundred, six litre twin turbo V12. Look at that, the two of those in the same shot, being able to see them both at the same time. So cool. Wyra Roadster. Prestige being Pagani Miami as well. Very, very nice. I can't get enough of this car. Every single time I'm looking at it, I start to spot something new, like here, these extra openings that you have on the outer skin of the door card, and coming towards the rear, the louvres that you have that run over the arches, towards these side blades that have the fins just there, and on the inside of those, you've also got the Verde Selvans paint, the flash of colour that comes around. The car is officially called the Lamborghini Cian FKP37. Cian is a word from the local dialect, the Bolognese dialect in Italy, where the car is built, which means lightning bolt. FKP is named after the late Volkswagen Group chairman Ferdinand Piech as well. And I tell you what, just being here and seeing the attention to detail, the pinstriping, the accents around makes me think further as well about the incoming Schmimobile, my Hurricane STO that I'm currently considering the different spec options for as well. But this, this is just crazy. That rear wing, like I said, rises up out of the back when you're in the sportier modes. It comes up to about the same height as the edge of the blades there. And then look over towards the engine, hidden underneath this combination of carbon fibre and the glass, the 6.5 litre naturally aspirated V12, you have the firing order printed there on the plaque over the top and the traditional bronze finishing cover you have as well in the window through to the cabin. This, this is just something else. What an awesome opportunity to have been here to see it arriving in the workshop now to be PDI'd, ready to go to the customer. Come inside the showroom here then at Lamborghini Miami where we have some incredible colours on the cars on display. We've got a Hurricane Evo Spider here, the facelift updated Evo in the satin blue. Behind that we've got the original Hurricane LP610 in the satin black. We've got what I think is a Verde Mantis Aventador S Coupe. Here we have the Hurricane Evo rear wheel drive in Viola Alethia. It's a really nice colour. Behind we've got another Evo rear wheel drive in the bright orange. We've got Verde Scandal. I tell you what, only Lamborghinis can pull off these kind of colours. The Evo rear wheel drive I drove recently, an incredible car. We've got the Gallardo race car back there as well. Just look at that view. And if we come over to the other side, we've got Rosso Efesto on this Hurricane Evo rear wheel drive Spider with the tan interior. We've got an Aventador S Roadster in the menacing black with the red calipers, red finishes to the interior, the leather, the stitching, and the contrast in there. If we come over through here to the Ad Personum studio, this is where customers can come to go through all of the exclusive options. I've taken a look myself before, of course, but believe me, they are almost endless. And obviously you can then do even further Ad Personum details like stripes, accents, your own colors, Tricolore stripes, different finishes to the wheels. There are many, many different things you can consider. We've even got an engine cover there from the Urus, the twin turbo V8. But if I come back round this way very quickly, something I want to show you just around the corner, tucked in here, which is, we've got another Cian, albeit a 1 to 18 scale alongside the Reventon, which was really the first of the few off series. They made 20 coupes and 15 roadsters before the three Venenos and the nine Veneno Roadsters, then 20 Centenarios and 20 Centenario Roadsters, and now 63 Cians and the 19 Cian Roadsters. But a really cool showroom and a really special day to have seen all of this. <laughs> I still can't get my head around that coincidence. I was honestly just driving past, going down Biscayne, I saw the transporter with the crate, got to about here, did a very quick U-turn, and went back and said to the guys, is that what I think that is? Which of course it was, the Lamborghini Cian delivery here at Lamborghini Miami. A big thanks to Brett and the team for the opportunity to be able to share that arrival. It feels with that amount of theatre, almost like it's a new car delivery day for me, and of course it's got nothing to do with me. A huge congratulations to the customer of that car. I know that everybody here was really, really part of it, and I also know they are preparing for the customer something very special as well. It's going to be packed up when the PDI is completed, put back into the box, ready for a proper reveal as well. A full 
full affair to celebrate the handover of such an incredible car. For now though, that is all. Thank you very much for watching. As always guys, do go follow Brett and the team, Prestige Imports, Lamborghini Miami. I'll pop the links down below if you'd like to follow the guys. This was awesome. That was the Lamborghini Sian FKP37. That's it for now though. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers. The helicopter goes right over the top. See you guys. Cheers.